expect the unexpected, <laughs> right? <laughs> Thank you, Shelby. Now, tonight we're diving back into one of the great unsolved mysteries of this area. Today marks the five-year anniversary of the disappearance of Serenity Denard, and still, there's no closure to the case. It was February 3rd, 2019, Super Bowl Sunday. Serenity Denard, then nine years old, ran from the Black Hills Children's Home off Old Rockerville Road. The Pennington County Sheriff's Office says two witnesses saw her on the road, and despite what was likely the largest search ever in South Dakota, that was the last time Serenity was seen. Well, it, it, weighs, uh, it weighs on people to this day. I mean, you've, you know, you pour your heart and soul into trying to, trying to get the answers, and it's all about, you know, we come to work every day, let's do the right thing, let's provide the answers to family in this, this unfortunate situation, and, and it still weighs on you. It's on the, in your mind, you know, on a daily basis or weekly basis that we still haven't been able to provide that closure, and, and uh, we hope to do so in the future. Morrison said they've done 220 searches in the area with 66 agencies. At the time, searchers say they trekked more than 5,000 miles. They've interviewed more than 500 people and followed up on over 357 leads so far, including from foreign countries. Those leads still come in, and the case is still open. He said they're still working with other agencies, hoping to finally bring the case to a close. We do get we do get leads, you know, weekly or monthly. Some some leads come in or possible sightings come in, and and uh, we do everything everything we can to jump on those right away to to uh, see if it's uh, legit or not. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children put out this age-progressed photo of what Serenity might look like at 13 years of age. Morrison said they haven't seen any evidence to indicate that she was abducted. They're still hoping for final answers. She hasn't been found. When we do things, we want to put a resolution to it, right? We come to work every day, and you want to put a resolution to it. Uh, so we deal with some sad things, some, some tough things, but there's a family out there who doesn't have the answers, and that's ultimately what it's all about. Jack Cottle, Black Hills Fox News.